Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. This video is a continuation of previous video. In the previous video, we have seen about when we create a view using select star from a table name, the star will be replaced with the columns at the time of view creation or with whatever the columns present in the table at the time of view creation and what would be the behavior when we go and add a new column or when we remove an existing column of a base table what would be the behavior of the view and then we have learnt about how to find the list of dependent object of a view so that it is easy for us to analyze even before going and changing the underlying base tables as a continuation of that in this video we are going to see three more questions when we are going and modifying the underlying base objects the views will get or the dependent views will get invalidated and how to recompile a view or what are all the options to recompile a view the next question is whenever we are creating a view using select star from a table name i told that the star will be replaced with the column present at the time of view creation however when we are creating a force view the table itself wouldn't have present and what would be the behavior or how the star will be replaced with its respective column the third question is what is the real time scenario where we will be using this force view and finally i will tell you what all the list of view related concept or questions as a developer we should know and i have compiled all these questions and i will share you the link at the end of the video let us start with the first question how to compile a view or why to recompile a view let us start with an example so here is our employee table so now what I'm going to do is I'm creating a view called EMP underscore view selecting all the columns of employee table. So at the time of creation, there are like eight columns starting from employee number till address. So let me just create the view. Now you can say the view is created. So let us query from the user underscore view. Now you can see even though we created a view by specifying select star from EMP, the star is actually replaced with the respective columns starting from employee number till address so let us check the uh, user underscore objects now you can see the status will be valid because just now we have created all the base tables and base columns are present in the database so the view is in a valid state now what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop the address column now if you see the employee or user underscore objects the status would become invalid because actually we dropped a column of a base table which was used by the view so that's why the status become invalid now i am just going and adding the column back to the table when you drop and add the column back to table or whenever you go and modify any changes to the base table obviously the view will go to the invalid state but when you recreate the columns the view will not get automatically valid now if you go and check the user object the status is still invalid basically we dropped a column but immediately we added the column back but still the status is invalid so as a developer we need to recompile the view so there are two options to recompile one is like you can use the alter view view name compile otherwise you can go and recreate the view altogether so both will recompile it so now let us alter the view using alter view view name compile now you can see the view is altered so let us check from the user objects just to check whether the status now you can see the status is valid so let me just redo the same example again so right now i'm just creating a view i'm just checking the uh, query now you can see the star is replaced with all the column the status of the view is actually valid now i am just dropping the column immediately after dropping the column the status became invalid immediately i am just adding the column back to the table still the status will be invalid only so now instead of altering the view using compile i'm just going to recreate the view so now the view got created now if you can go and check the status would be valid so this is the second option so now let me show you one more option so i'm just again selecting from the table i'm just creating the view view is created yes the star is replaced with the column the status is valid now I am dropping the column immediately after dropping the column obviously the status will be invalid now I am adding the column back to the table but still if you see the status would be invalid only so now I am not going to alter the view I am not going to recreate the view instead I am just going to directly call the view 
so what would happen is when you are trying to call a view which is in an invalid state oracle will automatically try to recompile at the first execution so during that time if it is able to recompile successfully then the view will get recompiled and it will give the result in case if it is not able to recompile the view successfully then it will throw an error so now that we have accessed the view which was in an invalid state so in this case oracle recompiled automatically and given us the result now if you go and check the user objects you will see that status would have become valid so these are the three options by which we will be able to recompile and why we need to go and recompile or what is the importance of recompiling is whenever you are going and changing the base table objects it is better to check all the invalid objects and recompile it because you may not know whether you have missed any other table modifications so that is the importance of why we need to recompile and how to recompile basically we have seen about three options one is like using alter view compile keyword second option is by recreating the view itself third option is whenever you are calling the view oracle will automatically try to recompile let us move ahead with the second question i told you that whenever we are creating a view using select star from a table the star will be replaced with its respective column present in the base table at the time of view creation However, when you are creating a force view, it's not necessary that the base table has to present in the database. Still, we can go ahead and create the view and that is the advantage of force view. In fact, the concept about force view I already explained in this video. So now let us go ahead with a demo to understand what would happen with the star or how the star will get replaced. So now let me try to create a view from some uh, dummy table. Let me say temp 2000 actually this table is not present in the database itself so when you are trying to create a view like this say let me say create a replace view v underscore 2000 as select star from temp 2000 by default it will throw an error saying the table or view does not exist and the view will not get created even we can go and check in our user views let me say user view where view name equal to v underscore 2000 now you can see the view is not created however when you add the keyword force the view will get created now you can see view created with compilation error previously the view itself was not created but now the view created but with compilation error now let me show you that view you can see here a view is created but in this case you can see very clearly the star will not get replaced with its respective column because the table itself is not present in the database fine now what i'm going to do i'm going to create the table at this point let me say create table temp 2000 let us put one column of number so now the table is created now let us just go and check back the user underscore view so user underscore view will not get ref refreshed immediately uh, same way you, we can even check the user underscore object the view will be in invalid state let me put object name you can see this view is in invalid state now we have the same three option either when we are recompiling the view using alter view compile keyword or if you are recreating the view using the creator replace or if you access the view using select star from that view name the view will get automatically recompiled at that time when you come and check back the user views the star will be replaced with its respective column so now what i will do i will directly call the uh, view instead of recompiling or recreating so let me say select star from v underscore 2000 now if you see even though there is no record now the view got e executed and it is returning null record but now if you go and check back the user view you can see the star was replaced with its respective column so this is the behavior whenever we are using the force view okay the next question is what will be the real time scenarios we will be using this force view see the key uh, importance of force view is that we will be able to create the view even if the base tables are not present so one advantage is that you don't have to worry about your table dependencies otherwise what we need to do is we need to first create all the tables then we need to create the view so in this case what you can do is you just go and create all your views by specifying the force view option 
later you can go and create the tables and at the end of your installation you can go and recompile all the invalid objects so by that way you don't have to worry about the dependencies across your installation typically when the installation is very big it becomes very tedious job to maintain the dependencies of the objects so by that way the force we will really help to manage the dependencies of view across the tables so here is a list of consolidated view related concepts or questions as a PL SQL developer we should know so the very basic question everybody should know is what is a view what is a simple view what is a complex view are the DMLs are allowed on the view or what type of DMLs are allowed on what type of view and what is the difference between the simple view and complex view and whenever uh, interviewer ask about a view related question most of the time he will ask about the difference between the view and materialized view and there are few more view related concepts like the force view read only view with check option view all these things and anyway like i have explained all these questions in the part one and part of this video is like whenever we are creating a view with a select star what would happen the star will get replaced with its respective column and whenever we are changing the underlying base tables what would be the behavior and uh, just now we have seen like what would be the behavior in case of like a force view so as a developer these are the list of basic view related concepts everyone should know i have compiled and posted all the links of these videos in this link and the link is shared in the description so going forward any other view related questions are a concept i'm going to post i will add it to this link so that you can refer all the view related concept in the same link if you have any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you're not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you